Hi everybody, it's Emily, and today I just want to answer a question that was posed on a forum that I belong to. And the question is, if you were to start your business now, knowing what I know now, back 10 years ago, what would I have done differently? So the top three things are, number one, I would have uh, created systems right from the beginning. Systems for everything. Uh, for like what kind of printer ink the computer takes to where you get it, what aisle it is at Staples, what like everything, just like step by step, how to put it in just so everything like I know that sounds really silly, probably. But so everything's like, step by step. So if you hurt yourself tomorrow, somebody could just like walk in and run your business for you. So every little thing make a system for every little thing. That's what I would have do. That's what I would do differently. Number one. Uh, number two, Two, I would have waited until I was just a little bit older than I was because I started my business when I was uh, 19, just turned 20 years old. Um, I probably would have waited just a little bit longer and that is what my dad told me to do and I didn't listen. Uh, retrospect, I probably should have listened. Worked for someone else, learned a little bit more about my field of work. I mean, I... I learned as I went, but I feel like I sacrificed a lot of my 20s, like pretty much like the last 10 years. Um, I sacrificed a lot, like uh, hanging out with friends and like doing a lot of fun stuff and like just really like living and experiencing my 20s. Um, I feel like I missed out on a little bit because I was so like engrossed in my business. So that's one thing that I would have done a little bit differently is just wait until I was a little bit older to start my business. And number three, what's number three? Oh my, I can't remember. Uh, oh yes. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot what number three was. Number three is I wouldn't get so hung up on branding, uh, logos and colors and different things because, um, I find that really like puts a stop to like your progress in moving your business forward. If you get hung up on like what colors should we choose and what should the business card look like and the website and uh, just start off really simple. And um, I kind of like kept the same colors along the way, but they kind of like transformed as the business grew and I got a feel for everything. So you don't have to get stuck on like, you have to have a logo when you first start and you need to have two colors and like everything needs to be branded. Uh, the branding isn't completely what makes the business. So just get a feel for the business and uh, where you're going with it and then kind of choose those things as you go along and they'll develop and they'll, they'll fit in better with the business. So those are my top three tips. Um, if I could go back in time and do anything differently when I first started my business and yes, that's it. So I hope that was helpful and I will talk to you later. Okay. Thank you. Bye.